Passing through the town of Rennes in their drive on Paris, United States troops search for mines concealed beneath the highway by retreating Nazis of the shattered 7th Army. The scale of the German disaster in France can hardly be measured. Allied power has staged a blitzkrieg far greater than anything the Germans did in 1940. When the Americans liberated Rennes, they took over a most important rail and road junction, connecting Paris with the ports of Brest and St. Malo. This city, with a population of 72,000, communicates too with the U-boat bases at Lorient and Saint-Nazaire. The acclamation with which the townspeople received the victorious Americans was in sharp contrast with their treatment of a group of Vichy collaborationists. They included the ex-chief of militia, who'd worked hand in glove with the SS. pictures were taken on the first day of liberation and feeling ran high. The fifth columnist had to be protected from the fury of the crowd. Victorious on the ground, so in the skies. Heavy bombers carrying out daylight raids on important railway marshalling yards behind the retreating German columns. Meanwhile, beyond Caen, the British and Canadians were closing the northern jaw of the track, which was to squeeze von Kluger's army to pulp in the Falaise Gap. Following the great battle which resulted in the scattering of the German 7th Army, these pictures give some idea of the mass of war materials destroyed by the Allied bombardment or left behind by the fleeing enemy. The superior weight and manoeuvrability of the Allied armor finally decided the issue. <laughs> Members of a Russian military mission to the British and Canadian sector watched the course of the battle. Here they're examining rocket bombs fitted to a British fighter aircraft of the type which has caused such havoc to German communications. These pictures were taken during the forcing of the river Prut at the point where the Red Army entered Romania. This swift Russian advance has struck the German army a crippling blow, ranking with Stalingrad in the number of men involved. In Romania too, the Luftwaffe has proved ineffective. The Russians control the skies.
across the river Prut poured the victorious Red Army in a drive which has since resulted in the surrender of Romania. largest of the Balkan countries, Romania had been a Nazi satellite since she signed the Axis Pact in 1940. In the first towns taken by the Russians, townspeople were apathetic. Four years of semi-starvation under the Axis heel has had its effect. In the path of the Red Army come the peasants, returning to the land on which they were born. When the Russians swept into Romania, 30 divisions of Germany's southern Ukraine army were threatened with extinction. The capitulation of Romania, first of the Balkan satellites to see the writing on the wall, foreshadows the fall of the German Reich. 